Hello everyone, my name is Alex Sigrist and welcome to the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News from the last week of September going into that first week of October. Before we get started, it is worth mentioning this week that Omar Paganini, the current Minister of Industry, Energy and Mining for the Republic of Uruguay, as well as Brazilian government officials visited Pangyo Techno Valley and even this PR center to continue building ties with South Korean companies. We're starting to see an increased flow of high level government officials and international business leaders coming through this area as the COVID restrictions have been eased here in South Korea. So it's exciting to see the increased activity here in Pangyo. Now it's time to go on to our main news stories of the week. For our first story this week, Gyeonggi Center for Creative Economy and Innovation signs MOU with LG Electronics to discover innovative startups. The Gyeonggi Center for Creative Economy and Innovation, or the Gyeonggi CCEI, announced that it had recently signed a business agreement with LG Electronics H&A headquarters to promote a collaborative open innovation program linked to startups. Through this agreement, the two organizations will jointly promote the LG Future Home Tech Innovator with GCCEI program. This program is an open innovation program to create synergy through business development cooperation between innovative startups and LG Electronics H&A headquarters. The recruitment period is until the 21st of this month. It's a Friday and the application types are technology and service proposals for LG Electronics UP home appliances and proposals for new business ideas linked to home appliances. On to our next story. Nexon unveils new mobile MMOSLG Civilization Reign of Power for the first time. Nexon is introducing a mobile MMOSLG or multiple access strategy simulation game using the intellectual property of Civilization developed by 2K, a US game developer and subsidiary of Take-Two Interactive Software. Nexon first unveiled the new mobile MMOSLG Civilization Reign of Power developed by N-Dream Incorporated. Civilization Reign of Power is based on Sid Meier's Civilization V, a popular game in the Civilization series and is unique as the first MMOSLG genre of mobile games using Civilization IP. It includes large-scale PvP content in the units of alliances while faithfully implementing the fun aspects including various growth factors and development strategy in the original game. Moving on to our next story of the week. Kakao Enterprise upgrades Kakao iConnect Live 2.0. Kakao Enterprise revealed Kakao iConnect Live 2.0, the live streaming service on September 26 of this year. It enables users to access live streaming in mass and network with one another thanks to improvements in their AI technology. Kakao Enterprise upgraded the Kakao iConnect Live 2.0 by improving AI technology based interactive factors and scalability. With that, a large group of people is able to join many online events in real time in a variety of ways. In a live streaming environment, for example, up to 2,000 people can watch a live video, more than double from the previous 1,000 person limit. Now 500 people can participate in a virtual meeting, up from 100 people, and 1,000 people are allowed in the chat room instead of the previous amount of 100. Even if thousands, if not millions of users are trying to log in at the same time, the service guarantees a short waiting time of about half a second. In addition, the stable environment enables 99% connection success rate. And now to our final main story of the week, Soynet wins Smart AI Innovation Prize at the 4th Industrial Revolution Power Korea. Soynet, an artificial intelligence service execution optimization service company, won the Smart AI Innovation Award at the 4th Industrial Revolution Power Korea event. Attending the 7th 4th Industrial Revolution event, Soynet won the award in recognition of its excellence in software solutions and key technology that supports the lightening of AI 
models. Soynet Solution helps AI companies run services or applications faster. In addition, it can achieve top speeds and a reduction in GPU memory usage when compared to AI frameworks such as TensorFlow and PyTorch. And that's going to wrap it up for our main stories of the week. Now let's check out this week's news briefs. First up, Mr. Mind partners with MG Factory to promote the welfare of seniors. Mr. Mind and MG Factory have signed a business agreement to expand business areas and develop products in the welfare market for elders. Through this agreement, MG Factory's Smart Green Wall, which is equipped with Mr. Mind's artificial intelligence technology, will be installed in the Senior Citizen Center to provide various healing support to the elderly, such as visual and emotional stability, and contribute to improving their welfare. For our second news brief, NeoWiz unveils PFP NFT project based on Cats and Soup IP. NeoWiz announced that it will introduce the PFP NFT or Profile Picture Non-Fungible Token project called ERCC, Early Retired Cats Club, using the intellectual property or the IP of the mobile healing game Cats and Soup. PFP NFTs can be used as a profile picture on various channels such as communities or social media and ERCC is the first NFT project with IntelliX and its partner company Polygon. This is the first time that a domestic game company has carried out a PFP NFT project. And now on to our final story of this week. Naver proves its global level voice AI technology at Interspeech 2022. Naver put forward eight research papers at Interspeech 2022, the world's largest and most comprehensive conference on the science and technology of spoken language processing, proving its global level of AI voice technology. Interspeech in its 23rd year is one of the world's largest conferences of spoken language processing, along with ICA SSP, and thousands of voice AI experts from around the world attend the event every year to share their latest research results. This year, it ran at Songdo Convencia in Incheon from September 18th to the 22nd. While Naver prepared eight papers in total at Interspeech, five were adopted for oral presentations, including the papers published by Line. The number of total published papers reached 12. And that's going to do it for the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News this week. My name is Alex Sigrist. I'll see you.